Mm. These heifers have me coming out of early retirement and shit. I don't appreciate that. Okay. That's where I'm from. Uh, Mr. DJ, he gets down, mixing records while they go. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Listen, I know it's been a minute and you know, I was going to get into the logistics of everything, but <laughs> this is not the time, okay? We have bigger things to talk about, okay? Portia fucking Williams, or should I say Portia Stewart Guabadia, like, <laughs> girl, what the fuck? Guys, listen. Listen, I know it has been a long ass time since I have reviewed any reality TV show, let alone Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? I made a conscious decision a long time ago to stop reviewing shows because I just wanted to be a viewer and enjoy them for what it was, you know, okay? But there are just certain things happening in this whole year, last year, so many things that I've just let, let go by, okay? I haven't addressed it, but this, this... Not that it's really newsworthy, but it kind of is because it's just fucked up, okay? And bearing in mind that season 13 literally just wrapped, okay? We were reduced to watching this dry-ass fucking season, alright? The season where they drug out the Dambolo storyline till there was nothing left. Okay, they milked that shit until it was <laughs> powder, all right? You made us sit down through that season and that terrible, terrible three-part reunion that was about nothing just for this shit to happen? Like, I can't help but think that this is all calculated because why is it that the season has now finished and now Portia is suddenly with Fallon's ex-husband, Simon Guobadia. <laughs> okay, what? You mean to tell me that none of this shit could have transpired during season 13? No, 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 we had to wait for cameras to stop rolling, for you two to fall in love, and now tell us, and now that means we have to come back for season 14 because we need to see what's gonna happen. Because God knows that after season 13, you guys were going to lose hella of you. I can't even talk. <laughs> okay, but no, what I'm trying to say is God knew that after season 13, Real Housewives of Atlanta was going to lose hella followers, hella viewers, whatever you want to call it, okay? So boom, now we got this. Obviously, we're going to have to come back. But guys, what the fuck? Seriously? You know, and I'm seeing so many people defending Porsche's antics like, oh, she just wants to be happy. Everybody deserves to be happy, you know? People fall in love all the time. Don't give me that bullshit excuse. Don't give me that bullshit excuse. There are seven billion motherfuckers on this earth. You chose to fall in love with Simon Gutobadia, okay? The Simon that was with your once friends and i'm gonna call fallon your friend because you were definitely all up and through her house okay you were in her house okay i'm sure you ate some of her potato salad i'm sure you drank some water in her house okay that's the friend right there because you don't let anyone just come up in your house and drink your fucking juice and eat from your utensils you don't do that okay and then there have been multiple pictures of you guys you know around each other all right you were definitely friends, and if you don't want to use the term friends, then you were fucking acquaintances. The point is, you knew her well enough to know that she was with Simon Guabadia, okay? And then you just wait for them to divorce and bam, you just pounce like that? No, no, no. Okay, so for people defending Portia, you're wrong, she's wrong, okay? I don't give a fuck if motherfuckers want to be happy. Go be happy somewhere else, okay? There are plenty of motherfuckers in Atlanta, okay? Plenty! Plenty ugly rich African dudes since that's what you guys want. Sorry, someone's messaging me. Okay. 
where was I? Okay, yeah, there were plenty of people in Atlanta. All right, and it's like, why are these women? Why are these women always going for the ugliest of ugliest men? You mean to tell me that only the ugly guys are the rich guys? Only ugly people can be rich? You know, and I don't mean ugly, ugly. I'm just using the term loosely. Okay, everyone's beautiful in the eye of the beholder, blah blah blah. Okay, but they're not good looking to look at. Mm. Okay, you mean to tell me there ain't rich people that are good looking? Wow. Okay. All right. Whatever. But the point is, what Portia has done is very foul. What Simon has done is even fouler. Okay, you ain't off the hook, motherfucker. You were dusty. You were disgusting. I just know his ass was praying on Portia the entire time. Every time Fallon had her up in the house, I know Simon was looking. Because remember in that one episode where they were by the pool and Simon just sat there with his fucking big stomach, lighting up his cigar, sitting there like. <laughs> You, you be my second wife. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but guys, where do we start? Where do we start? Okay, look. So, boom. All right. Fallon and Simon seem to be having something going good. Okay, what, what did I just say? What they had seemed to be going well, okay? On the show, everything was cool. Everything was fine. She chased Latoya around the house with the fucking golf club because she was being disrespectful. And Simon was there. You know, comforting her. But maybe the whole time while Simon, Simon was comforting her, you know, Simon was probably looking at Portia like, mm, I wish it was you that was running around the house with the golf club. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? All right? And, like, up until, like, a few months ago, they were gushing about each other. They were all posting each other on Instagram. Oh, I love you. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Okay, they have about 20 kids together or some shit, whatever, right? So then, about a month ago, maybe two months tops, Simon posts some fucking video talking about how he's filing for divorce from Fallon because she allegedly cheated. Hmm. You see, I find that quite weird because now you are with Portia. And not only are you with Portia, you are now engaged. You proposed to Portia, but you guys only been knowing each other for a month. You only been around each other for a month and you fell in love in a month. Simon's full of shit. Simon is full of shit, guys. Okay? And something's telling me that maybe Fallon wasn't the one that was cheating. Or maybe she was. If it's a win-win for her, Fallon is gorgeous. I'm sure she can find herself a better looking man, okay, with money. Okay, girl, go hit up the Atlanta Falcons or some shit. Go to the NBA, girl. The world is your oyster. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are free from Simon's, from Simon's hold. Okay, now Portia can be his problem. All right, but it's like, damn. So, obviously now... Him and Fallon have filed for divorce, and now literally just a day ago, it comes out that Portia and Simon are not only dating, but they are engaged. But you guys fell in love within a month. <sighs> Portia, 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 as, as Kenya would say. And you know what's pissing me off the most? I think I'm most annoyed at the fact that you have now given Team 12 the fucking ammunition. <laughs> Alright? You have given them the fucking ammo to just ride this shit out for season 14. Okay? I was rooting for Portia. I was team Portia. I was team Shamir. I was team the youngsters. Okay? I was team all of that. I couldn't stand Kenya. And it's like now I have no choice but to like not be here for Portia because I don't respect women that do shit like that. Okay. I don't respect women that move that way, okay? I, I, that, if that's one thing to turn me off a person is a woman or a man that moves messily within a group, okay? You sleep with each other's husbands, spouses, girlfriends, whatever. I hate that shit. It's disgusting to me. And for Portia to do that, of all the guys that probably want you in Atlanta, let alone the world, Portia, for you to go for Simon is fucking disgusting. Don't hit me with that, oh, we just fell in love. Why the fuck were you with his ass in the beginning? Why were you around him to begin with? You knew that him and Fallon were going through their divorce. You couldn't find someone else? That's dust. That's dust. Mm. That's so dusty. What is going on with this fucking hair? 
that is such a dusty move guys i feel like that's disgusting if i'm being honest like that's a horrible move there's no justification for it you know simon you should know better and the thing is as well my nigga Porsche is 40 now okay so what she got only five years until you find the next bitch because that's what he's gonna do to Porsche. he's gonna leave your ass for somebody younger okay all right oh these men don't know how to act like damn and i know that is a is a thing for like some african cultures to have multiple wives and some shit but simon don't be doing that shit in atlanta go to nigeria and do that shit don't be doing that over here like these motherfuckers got cameras and shit you own candid camera now simon we're gonna judge you okay not that he gives a fuck he's rich i know but still like it's still disgusting it's still disgusting Portia. you need to respect yourself some more and i mean this isn't this isn't what's the word this isn't like unexpected of Portia because she's definitely made it be known that she is the type of girl that will go for anyone so long as they have money okay she don't give a fuck about looks hence cordell stewart hence dennis and his fucking hot dog ass and now simon go obadia okay she don't give a fuck how you look which is sad okay because you definitely could have had bolo maybe bolo ain't got it in the bank like that maybe bolo ain't <laughs> balling <laughs> okay but um this this whole thing is just fucked up it's disgusting and obviously um fallon's broken her silence now you know she's just like i'm just focusing on finalizing this divorce hence basically <laughs> i'm just ready to leave that ugly motherfucker and get under someone younger and sexier okay i don't blame you fallon but Portia, you know good and damn well you don't even find simon attractive okay you find his bank account attractive simon ain't attractive guys let's not lie he's not he ain't he's not all right but it's just mm. This shit has to be fake. I'm still waiting for them to be like, psych. <laughs> it's a lie. We're joking. We don't really love each other. You know? And then you see Dennis's stupid ass, old goofy ass up in the pictures, smiling, dancing in all the videos and <laughs> shit. Just smiling like, you don't have a problem with this? This is where I'm starting to think that this is just something that's just been put together. Okay? Like, Dennis, Portia, Simon, Fallon, they all came together and said, okay, like, let's try and come up with this storyline, okay, so that we can make season 14 a banger, all right, because ain't no way my baby daddy's gonna be all up in my picture smiling, happy as hell, with the new nigga that just proposed to her after you were just professing your love for her, like, what? No, unless Simon is happy, I mean, Simon, what's his name, Dennis? They both look the same, shit, all right, unless Dennis is happy to be ridden of Portia then fair enough but um I just I don't understand this guys I really don't understand it like what and then is it just me or does Portia look like she's pregnant what the fuck is going on I'm tired of all the fucking optical illusions I'm tired of all this like why why did you have to wait for season 13 to be over to do all this shit ah. does she look pregnant or is it just me and how we how are we pregnant within a month of just falling in love huh that's dennis's baby then that ain't simon's now unless simon don't mind unless simon ain't shooting no shooters no more and he said listen dennis i need a new heir to the throne i'm gonna need you to knock her push her one more time thank you and i'll take it from there and dennis was like well shit you know i got this hot dog empire but i still needs the money and simon was like oh don't worry don't worry i got you <laughs> i don't know i don't fucking know guys but simon ain't making no sense all right and push is just feeding into these fucking speculations bitch come out and say you ain't pregnant because if she comes out and says she's pregnant then oh that means you and simon been fucking around for a long time or you and dennis been fucking around someone's been fucking around someone was not being loyal to fallon and that's probably why him and fallon and that's probably why fallon and simon are really breaking up because he's been fucking pushing this whole time and now she's pregnant i really hope that in the case because that is disgusting that's gross let's just hope that the baby takes off the portion mm -hmm. <laughs> but guys i just i don't even know what to say 
this whole thing is a shit show is very confusing and it's just a bad look and it's like one thing i can't stand is when people relish in just making themselves look like asses for the sole reason of creating a fucking story for the sole reason of staying relevant and getting money like where's your self-respect and dignity hmm? and karma is real for you type of people okay don't hit me with that, but she just wants to be happy type of excuse. There are motherfucking 7 billion people on this earth. She could have been happy with one of them and not Simon, okay? All right? <laughs> Let's not do this. Nini said, you can't win when you play dirty. Portia, karma. Karma is very real. Okay, but guys, like I said, comment down below. Tell me what you really think, okay? If you're going to be disrespectful in the comments, <laughs> I'll just remove your comments. All right? But um, thank you for watching. I don't know if I'm back, but I'm here. Okay? Goodbye. I don't want to like, I want to dig like a bite. He said, me bend it, bust it open, then we 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 bend it, bust it open.